What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at opacity masks. Now what an opacity mask is, it's just it's just a place in the uh, texture that will be completely transparent. Now it won't be like glass because it will just completely cut and cold sort of that part of the uh, texture out. So in this case, we don't need any transparency. We are just going to want it to be completely cut out where the chain leak isn't. And as you can see on the opposite side, it will show up there too. Now you can use this exact same method to make stuff like your foliage, which will be quite common. This is mega scan assets and it's done in a very similar way. And I actually quickly just made my own one very quickly here to show it's not too difficult to quickly set up. Now we are just going to be touching on the chain link fence today because I just want to basically go over the basics of setting up the opacity mask. Now, first thing you need to do is go grab your texture. I'm going to be using this. If you can find something that's already got a PNG background, that's brilliant, because that means you haven't got to make the texture of the alpha yourself. So if we just pop down to our desktop and then pop it in. Yeah. Now, because it's actually a PNG, you should be able to drag it in and automatically set up all the opacity mask for you, as you can see. Now, Let's pretend it doesn't do that, so I want to show you how to set it up manually, because if you, for example, don't even have one with an alpha mask, you might need to use a couple of extra steps. So, let's delete the material we just made. Right-click the texture and create material. Let's come into here. And first thing you're going to need to do is grab your alpha channel and plug that into opacity mask. Now, again, this only works if the texture you have, so if you double-click it and open it, if it actually has in the alpha the uh, mask actually there. So the white part is where the chain link is going to be and the black is where it's going to be transparent. Now, if you don't have one that already has one set up like that, if we check this chain link fence, I actually needed to use an alpha mask separately. If you wanted to make that yourself, you could jump into Photoshop with your texture, basically paint it out so the back is black, the part you need is white, and then you could just bring that in for your alpha texture. So after that's plugged into your opacity mask here, come down to blend mode and change it to masked. And automatically that'll cut out that area for you. Now, if you hold U and left click and connect that to your UVs, so U left click will make your texture coordinate, which I showed in my uh, tiling texture tutorial. Click on it, and let's just set it to 2525, and that will tile it across the surface. So if you put it like that, as you can see, it's now across the surface. If we click Apply, I'll just minimize this. When we throw that onto our new plane. You see, we now have pocket. We can now have our chain fence. Bit stretched in one direction, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch that like that, and that looks better. And one problem here is if we go on the opposite side, you can't see it anymore. To fix that, click on your material and change your two sided to being on. And click apply. And now if we go behind it, it'll be on this side as well. If we're setting up a bit more of a complex material like this one over here we actually have normal maps on it so if you happen to have a normal map as well you can throw that in and you basically just need to make sure your textual coordinate connects to all of them and then you click apply nothing we could do is if you want to set up basic stuff one left click and you can set up your metallic so that's a one and you can make it shiny as well by putting another one in and setting that to like, let's say, 0.2. And that's basically the very simple way you set up your uh, opacity mask. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.